Why are you wearing a bodysuit? <laughs> that's not a maternity. That's not a maternity outfit. That's not what pregnant ladies wear. Unless you're Beyonce. Hey everybody, it's me, Belladonna, and I'm here with another part of The Sims 3 Generations. I believe this is finally, finally part 20. Hopefully I am right about that, but anywho, as you can see that we are doing daycare. It's literally just another day in the daycare life. As you can see with this crying baby whose name I totally forgot. I think this is Gigi. You know, no, this is not Gigi. This is the other one. That's not Gigi. <laughs> I don't remember her name, but this is not Gigi. Janice. Why did I remember that? Janice Ian. That's what I nicknamed her. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot about that, but that's Janice. She's crying because she's very hungry. We got Cobain in here in the playpen. He's feeling, not Cobain, Clinton, feeling lonely in the playpen. As usual, nothing new. I'm gonna have Claire uh, actually put the put the twins. I think they're twins in the high chairs and feed them. Are you gonna feed her? Um, Claire, put some food down. No, don't cover your ears. Put some food down to feed her. Uh, no. <laughs> You're about to walk away. We're not we're not gonna do that. Let's see. Let's give her some baby food. Okay. So she's gonna give her some baby food eventually. <laughs> and then we're gonna put in Janice Ian in the high chair. Where is Clarissa? We need help. We need so much. Oh, she's been pranked. Apparently Cobain put a prank in the shower when he was in a bad mood, so that's why she's been pranked. You've been punked. Whoops. <laughs> and he's not here for you to scold him because he is at school. And after he's done with school, he's going to be preparing for prom. I know that sounded horrible, but he's going to prom tonight. Today is his prom night, so... Oh, she's pregnant. Claire's pregnant, you guys. <laughs> so many things are happening right now. Claire's pregnant. And she's at work. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to pick up the kids or what? Because she's supposed to start maternity leave. So, I don't know. I've never been pregnant during daycare. <laughs> That's horrible. That's like so weird. But I've never been pregnant during daycare. Are they going to pick up their kids? I don't know. She's just standing there right now. I don't know. Claire's no help right now. We need you, Clarissa. We really do. And, of course, you are about to eat, so you don't help us too much. Okay. Just go pee. Claire. Um. She's stuck. I think it's because she's pregnant, so I guess my game is thinking. I don't know. Uh, sure. She definitely needs to improve her grade, so we're gonna do some reading for a promotion. Callie Cooper would like to go over to Roman Presley's after school. Is this okay? Of course this is okay. Why would it not be okay? Lydia is coming home with Cassia. I kind of wish it was uh, Gage coming home with Cassia and not Lydia. But we could deal. We can deal. Peace out. Oh gosh, this is... Oh, she's finally in her maternity clothes. So I guess they're about to pick up the kids because she's pregnant. So daycare canceled. <laughs> um, awesome. She wants a girl. That's a sign that this is probably going to be a boy. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know what this is going to be. We have to teach these kids how to drive. Because Cobain doesn't know how to drive. We haven't taught the twins yet. They should be home. At least Cassia. Well, she's coming home. I think that since Claire is on maternity leave, she can teach Cassia how to drive. 
So, let's do that. Let's try to teach Cassia how to drive since she's the only one here. Ka Callie is going to Romans. <laughs> oh, I forgot to give them an umbrella. Awesome. Let me buy them an umbrella really quick. But, as... I have to tell you guys something um, after I'm done buying the umbrellas. Um, I have redid the bathrooms and everything. Um, well, I didn't really redo the bathroom. I actually added a bathroom. I added a bathroom and I added an extra room. And I also redid the kitchen and the dining area, which you probably already know, noticed already. I think it looks so much better than last time. Like, what was I thinking with that pink? ridiculous kitchen like that was so horrid that was horrible what was I thinking that I really think that was going to be cute like no I was crazy that's what I was I could find the umbrellas oh, okay here they are uh, I need like about three so <laughs> one two cuz I need three for Cassia Callie and Colvin uh, why would it rain on his prom night, though? But as you can see, the dance is at 6 p.m. Better hurry up and get ready. You need to plan your outfit for the night. His outfit is already planned. I mean, he's already wearing a tuck, so... He's Gouda. Uh, as for... Lulu? I don't know if I did a formal outfit. <laughs> I really don't. It's okay, whatever she wears. Like, I'm really not messed up about what they're wearing. I just want them to have a really good night. Who knows, maybe Cobain will actually get prom king. I doubt that, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? Uh, who is this? Oh, okay, he's about to pick up this kid. I thought it was somebody else. What is his hair? This isn't, are you kid in play? No, this isn't the 90s. Fix your hair. No, I'm just kidding. I like that hairstyle. It's cute. Okay, but... Yeah, this is the dining area. Really cute. Ooh, I love it. This is the new kitchen. It's actually really cute and not really ridiculous. <laughs> this uh, up here. Also, he did the twins bedroom. Very simple, very teen. This is the new bathroom that Cameron is currently in. Stretching and getting in with his clothes on. Okay, there we go. There we go. And this is a new bedroom. So, yeah. I don't know. This room is really small, though. Uh, 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 like, I don't really uh, see uh, how I'm going to put anyone in that room. Because it's just so small. Uh, 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 but we'll, we'll see. We will see. So, let's see. <laughs> I said see, like, about five times. What? Um, What are you doing? Get inside. C c come in. Get something to eat or something. Since you're about to go out soon. Oh, you're not hungry. You actually need to get some rest. I'll have you take a nap. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I was so quiet because I thought I was hearing something. Anyway, I think I hear something. Do you hear that? Is that from my game? It's like I hear somebody crying. <laughs> or maybe it's just programmed in my head from those twins. Like, you, you still traumatized me, Cassie and Callie. You really did. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It was you. <laughs> it was you. Okay. Please feed him. We need to potty train him, for one. He knows how to talk and he knows how to walk. I think he knows how to walk. We just need to potty train him because he ages up today. Today is Clinton's birthday. Just saying. And I don't know if I'm going to beat the clock. <laughs> I don't know because I haven't even put the birthday cake out. I'm horrible. I know. But I, I just really want to potty train him before he ages up so I can pick his trait. And it's not looking so good. This is going to be his cake. The blue cake if I could put it up here. Okay. Um, I don't know. I really hope I get to age up Clinton because I want to choose his trait, like, so bad. I don't want a random trait. I want to... Cassia, just go to bed. She's tired. What? Dire cut hair. 
That'd be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? Just do something for fun. Aren't you? Okay, are you not at Romans right now? Okay. There's no one here. I gave you an umbrella, by the way. I don't know if you knew or not, but you could use it. I have to go now. I think it's time you left also. How rude. How, why would you invite us over? Just go home, Callie. Our boyfriends are so rude. You know, he's not our boyfriend yet. Uh, maybe in the next part, I will try to get them together. But right now, I need to focus on Cobain and his prom night as well as... Oh my gosh, it's time to go. <laughs> oh no, that it's time to go. Get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Come on. It is almost 6 o'clock. I did not know that, you guys. This is this is horrible. Is is he done eating? No. Why didn't you feed him? Why are you wearing a bodysuit? <laughs> that's not a maternity that's not a maternity outfit. That's not what pregnant ladies wear. Unless you're Beyonce. Oh gosh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. He's not going to potty. He's not going to. You know what? Let's just... It's canceled. <laughs> it's canceled. We're just going to have to age him up. Oh my gosh. Cobain. It's time to go. Where's the limo? Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna have to. Where's the school? Is this. Where is the school? Okay, it's over here. Um, I'm gonna have to teleport him. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't do this, you guys. I just. It happens. It really happens. I guess Cassie is not going. I guess this is, I don't know. Let's see, testing cheats enabled, true. Okay, teleport. Can, can they go to prom? They can go to prom. Just no dates. That's probably where, that's probably where Roman went, actually, now that I think about it. She's too tired, though. But let's see, let's just... Let's just have her go. Let's see. They're not even in their outfits. Like, what? Oh my gosh, this is horrible, you guys. What is this? This is not going right. This is not going right at all. Please get in your formal attire. Because I thought... I thought for a second that maybe it wouldn't matter, but honestly, truly, it does matter. It matters, okay? Come on. Come on, Cassia. Even though you really can't get in anyway, because it's annoying. Um, get out of your pajamas? <laughs> Ooh, don't they look fresh? Oh gosh, they look so cute. That, oh, I have to get that as a picture. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. You know, it's like raining. Look at how, look at how Callie is smiling, though. Like, no, girl, no. Um, anyway, I need to get Cassia out of her pajamas. And get her into something more comfy. Well, not comfy, but more cute. <laughs> that is comfy. Anyway, <laughs> don't mind me. Is that the guy with the kid and play hairdo? Gerald? That's her attire. I don't know why I put pink shoes with that, but okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go to prom. Let's just go to prom. Prom. Um, um, Lulu, 
I don't know. I don't know what Lulu's gonna do. Because <laughs> she is at our door, but whatever. I think she'll just show up in the game anyway or something. It's hard to explain, but she'll show up in the thing, in the notifications anyway. As her, as his date, even though she's not there. I've done it before. And it was really weird, but I wasn't complaining. <laughs> I really was not complaining at, about that at all. Like, you do what you do, Sims 3. You want to get married? Cassie wants to get married. Okay, I'm not gonna... They're gonna miss prom. Is that Callie? Okay. Why is everybody looking ratchet and they're the only three that looks good? Why are you wearing a hairnet at your prom? Okay, Callie's turn going, finally. Ugh. I'm done with that. <laughs> Let's see what they're doing with Clinton, because... Did, he, did you potty train him? This is literally the first toddler that I did not get to throw a party for. <laughs> oh gosh, I thought they age up at 9, not at 8. It's only 8. You just had a really bad birthday. Like, why would you have your birthday on prom night? Okay. Cobain was showing off his smooth moves. And Lulu asked Cobain if he wanted to go steady. They're going to go steady. Oh my gosh. Yes. Cobain's got... Ooh. I hate it. it. Neat. <laughs> it's like the last trade I wanted him to be. But, okay. With crawling Chris behind him, Clinton has finally gotten on his own two feet and became a child. Clinton has a lot of school and homework ahead of him, but if he studies hard and keeps his grades up, he will be well on his way to success. Due to his modest early development, you will not... So I had modest, not bad, but... Because I didn't potty train him, but he's neat. Which, I mean, I guess that's not bad. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Okay. Callie's not having a good day. Callie got into a fight with a schoolmate because he looked at her funny. Maybe a little discipline might prevent her from behaving badly. Okay. Whiskers haven't been getting enough attention. Nothing new. Cassie's prom picture is awesome. Callie hates herself for asking her classmate to dance. Her crush not only said no, but also made fun of her in front of everyone. Was that Roman? Um, let's see. She's having a really bad day. A really bad day. Alright, you guys. So, this is Cobain. I'm not Cobain. Clinton. Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with me? He is actually a very cute boy. Like, I, he looks, he still looks like, he still looks really different from his family members. Like, with the light brown hair and the light brown eyes. But... He's a cute little boy, and he's going to be very much fun to play with. The only thing I'm really mad about is the fact that his imaginary friend kind of just disappeared. Like, he used to have one, but he doesn't have one anymore. So, I don't know. kind of sucks. It really sucks. He's neat, easily oppressed, and grumpy. He's still going to be our same kid, so we just have to keep his grades up so we can actually get that trait. <laughs> but anyway, we need to pay attention to Whiskers, because this is... What?! Clarissa, come on. Are you kidding me? You're playing video games and our cat is being lonely right in front of you. What am I going to do with this family? What am I going to do? Please play with whiskers. Like, please play with whiskers. Um, section. No, not, not Clinton. Whiskers. <laughs> Come on, Clarissa, Clarissa, I need you. I need you. Smoochie, just do something. Talk to. Hug. Whatever. Uh, we also have some new prom updates. For one, Callie had a mishap on the dance floor and fell flat on her face. Callie's had a very bad day at prom. That's not Kelly Kapowski of her. Really not. <laughs> Cobain was ecstatic to accept the crown and thanked Everyone from rigging the votes. Apparently, he's prom king. Pretty cool. Uh, the dance is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Finally, Callie's acting a bit calmer. Okay, that's her mood swing. Lulu convinced Covain that a meteorite was coming soon and that they need to kiss ASAP. Covain decided to just go for it and was pleasantly surprised. So he also had his first kiss. Wow, that's awesome. He had a great night. Apparently, Cassia is prom queen. <laughs> what? That was so backwards. It's supposed to be for Callie. It was like Callie pretty much had the day that Cassia would have, and Cassia had the day that Callie would have. Kind of crazy, if you ask me. <laughs> um, but anyway, that was a very interesting prom night. It was such a great night for Cobain. He got himself a girlfriend. Like, that's, uh, that is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I uh, don't know where Cassia is, though. Oh, she's coming. But yeah, that was a pretty interesting night. And I think I am actually going to end this part right here. If you enjoyed this part, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And also subscribe if you haven't, because that would make me, like, really happy. And I would just jump off, you know, trampolines and <laughs> clouds and ice cream and just don't just just subscribe please like please subscribe okay anyway i will see you all next time bye guys